I want to continue my school, but I, I didn't have money. For the local people, they certainly struggle to meet their daily needs, a lot of them. Because life is, is very, very hard for the young people like me. And unless the government can figure out a sustainable way to harness the potential of the youth, clearly having masses of unemployed young people may eventually result in some unhappiness and, and some disgruntled groups. My name is Arsenio, Arsenio Costa de Deus, and my age is 25 now. I'm a library catalog assistant. I know my friend from school. They're looking for a job, but no, did not find until now. Walking around town, not just in Dili, but elsewhere as well, it's, it's very visible that this is a young country. You know, this is both a good and a bad thing. So many countries in Europe and elsewhere in Asia struggle with very low birth rates to the point where they have to incentivize couples having children. at what they would eat on a daily basis compared with what we would be used to eating. Transport for them to be able to get back to visit their families in the districts is a challenge for them. There are lots of familial commitments for those that do earn money for them to be able to get ahead and save for an education is not possible when there are always family demands for any available income to go on celebrations or commemorations or funerals. <laughs> <laughs> for now, I think, yeah, enough, a little enough, yes, because I, I also study, I also must pay my school fee and then pay for food and then my family life is very simple. We don't have, we don't read, we are poor. My mother and I work. My father is blind. He is he says not good. My sister is on senior high school and she is very smart. When he has studied his secondary school, he wants to go to the university. And I should work hard for this to make her dream become true. My second brother, he didn't want to school. He stopped school and decided to marry. It. He had one daughter, but he already divorced with her wife. Many of young people depend on her parents 
not uh, depend on uh, themselves. <laughs> they spend all the time to get, go to the park, drink wine and make uh, some trouble with the motorbike. Do not think about your uh, life in future. My name is Maria Amaral Guterres and now I am 26 years old and now I'm just married and have two children. Maybe my lucky because after the, I finished my study at the senior high school, I'm looking for a job, not looking for a uh, university. <laughs> Hello. I'm heard about she has many people for scholarship and for have a job. Hello, This is my sister. So I decide to write a letter for her. This is my son. Now four months. Four months? Yeah. You <laughs> see? <laughs> Just many children. Yeah. This is my mother. Not my mother. Oh, very, very. Okay. okay. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Yes. I think I'm, I'm She asked me, you have a skill about another job? And then I, I thought, I don't have any skill. You didn't have any skill, how you can work? So she decided, me, now you go to looking around the city. If you find the, some university, I'll be registered for you. <laughs> There's often a saying here in Timor-Leste, and this is from my Timorese colleagues, that the Timorese don't read. Timor-Leste has one of the highest, uh, if not the highest, rate of illiteracy in the Asian region. Education perhaps is not valued here as high as is necessary to transform the youth into a productive workforce. We need to introduce the value, the inherent value of education. But in the end, that can only happen if we can link education to an improvement of people's well-being. If you go to schools, who can take care of your family? Yes, because your parents is no have a job. We also can't forget the ones who are older, the ones who have passed their school age, who also feel disenfranchised and unemployable. We need to reach out to these young people 
with skills programs, with vocational training programs, with opportunities. Sa jerasaon ko nga karakter niya na saon ba oin? Primero matay sa riha dami no pas. Snema, ema selo ko si Ray selo ko bilang investe ti mo sa kwan riha ne ita problema hela de. Tanto insama ema bilang investe tni Ray sa kwan ita ita ni Ray ng rasik la riha dami. There's a lot of energy among the youth. I think they're still very optimistic, but I also think that. They are starting to question. This generation is so much more connected to the world. People know what's going on. People know about social injustice. They're far more politically astute than people in New Zealand, for example. They're often members of political organizations. We need to give the, our idea to the governments, change a little bit about our life. They should talk about this is very important. Many people here leave their family to go to the England to find a job. And me too, like this. <laughs> when I have opportunity to find a job in another country, I will, I will take it. So let my family here get a good, good life and then they, they will be happy.